What we are is written in our DNA. And different species, they have different DNA. And you can recognize the species by looking at them, but you can also recognize the species by reading the DNA. And based on that, you can help taxonomists to classify species. We're here in, uh, in Durmitor National Park in Montenegro, in the Balkans. And this is an area where there's still a lot of biodiversity to be discovered. This, this beautiful area is really a karst area. It's full of spectacular mountains, valleys, gorges, caves. And this special geology also produces a special biodiversity. All these valleys and gorges may have unique species in them, many of which we don't even know yet. The sequencing technology is quite similar to the computing technology. Now we can bring them with us with laptop, tablet or telephones. And we can bring the DNA sequencing technology anywhere, also in places like this, helping taxon expedition and uh, other scientists to characterize biodiversity. We are in spectacular Durmitor National Park, which is part of the Neric Arc. And why is this part of the world so important is because this is a world biodiversity hotspot for subterranean fauna. And we are now here at the cave entrance looking for one endemic cave beetle species, Anthroherpon zareki, that will be in a few days sequenced in the cave by our team of geneticists from Verona. These beetles are very important because they are adapted to life in subterranean environment. They're blind and depigmented and they, are, they cannot survive outside of the caves anymore. They're called troglobites. We couldn't bring PCR machine and so on. We have been able to bring the Voltrax and to sequence insects that the speleobiologists have found here. And the laboratory was run by citizen scientists. So this technology is not only very mobile, it's also very simple to use and can be used by anyone now. <laughs> 